and especially with COVID, people are are concerned. Everybody's going through through a hard time, and it just it leaves people vulnerable and more likely to fall victim to scams. A woman in Lebanon recently had someone impersonating an IRS agent show up at her home demanding money, leaving only when she asked for identification. That's something the IRS says you should always do. They will always carry sufficient identification and will display it to the taxpayer for inspection. They will not demand immediate payment through any type of, uh, you know, a gift card or a prepaid debit card. The IRS says they are seeing an uptick in COVID-related fraud, including phone calls. Many times when they call, um, they will say that if you don't make an immediate payment, they are going to come right now and arrest you. Um, that IRS does not do that. Other scams use emails asking you to click on a link. The IRS will not send out an actual email for you to click on a link and provide information to them or provide um, bank account information. In Lebanon, the victim said the scammers knew personal information about her. The IRS says don't be fooled. So these individuals, while they have, you know, may have your date of birth and some background information, which, you know, is scary. Um, and they use it to try to legitimize what they're doing. And the IRS says it's important this time of year with so many people shopping online to protect that information. When you're shopping around, try to make sure you're using a secure browser. The best way to protect yourself, according to the IRS, is with a little bit of knowledge and a healthy dose of skepticism. Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.